Thank you.
uh, semua. Okey, um, hari ini sebenarnya ikhlas untuk English. Okey, bersama teacher Andy. Okey, uh, nanti tanyalah dengan teacher kenapa nama dia Andy. Saya pun tak tahu. Okey. Uh, anyway, um, hari ini tajuknya adalah day and months. Okey. So, uh, kita teruskan dengan bacaan doa eh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera. Terima kasih kepada moderator yang bertugas. Saya Ustaz Yusri bin Yusuf dari Sekolah Menengah Sains Batu Pahat, Johor. Diminta para pelajar dan pendidik Muslim untuk sama-sama menadah tangan dan mengaminkan doa yang akan dibacakan. Mudah-mudahan program kita pada hari ini diberkati Allah dan kita memohon agar penyakit COVID-19 diangkat dan dihapuskan dengan segera insya Allah. Bagi yang bukan Islam, bolehlah berdoa dan bertafakur dengan adat dan kepercayaan agama masing-masing. Lin Nabi Al-Karim wa ala alihi wa ashabihi al-kiram al-fatiha. A'udhu billahi minas syaitan al-rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Ar-Rahmanirrahim. Malik yaumitin. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'in. إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلاة وسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ورحمهم كما ربونا صورا Pula jami'an al-Muslimin wal-Muslimat wal-Mu'minin wal-Mu'minat wal-Mu'allimin wal-Mu'allimat wal-Mujahidin wal-Mujahidat al-Ahya'i minhum wal-Amat urahmatika ya arhamar rahimin Allahumma khrijna min zulumat al-Wahmi wa akrimna binur al-Fahmi wa aftahna abwab al-Almi wa zayyina bil-Akhlaq al-Hasanat wal-Almi Allahumma nawir kulubana binur hidayatik kama nawarta al-Samawat yawrata abadan abada birahmatika ya arhamar rahimin اللهم ألهمنا رشدنا وأعذنا من شر نفسنا وهيئ لنا من أمرنا رشدا يا الله يا تهان كمي جد الله كمي سبعي همبمو يا سنتيا سب شكر دي أتس نعمة يا سريكت أبطه لجي نعمة يا بسار ملي باروه كبار كمي يا الله يا رحمن يا رحيم بركاتي لا درحمتي لا بعلم علم إي كلاس بعد هاري إني دعان كاسي سيامو Lapangkanlah hati-hati kami dengan sinaran hidayahmu agar mudah kami menerima, memahami dan mengamalkan ilmu yang bakal kami terima nanti. Semoga dengan izinmu kami mampu menzahirkan potensi diri kami, bertunjangkan syariatmu demi sebuah kejayaan di dunia dan di akhirat. Ya Zal Jalal wal Ikram, di kesempatan ini kami juga memohon perlindungan darimu dengan virus COVID-19 ini. Dengan penuh kehinaan dan kehambaan, jauhkanlah penyakit ini dari kami, kediaman kami, ahli keluarga kami, isteri dan anak-anak cucu kami, guru-guru kami, sahabat-sahabat kami dan seluruh manusia di dunia ini, khususnya negara kami Malaysia. Sesungguhnya engkaulah sebaik-baik penjaga dan maha penyayang. Ya Allah yang maha mencipta dan yang maha penyembuh, afiatkanlah, syifatkanlah mereka yang sedang diuji dengan COVID-19 ini dengan kesembuhan yang baik dan sempurna. Syahidkanlah Ya Allah, mereka telah pergi menghadap mungkaranannya. Ya Allah yang tiada daya serta kekuatan melainkan dengan kuasamu, kurniakanlah ketabahan, kecekalan dan kekuatan semangat zahir dan batin kepada pejuang-pejuang barisan hadapan COVID-19 negara kami, khususnya pasukan perubatan, anggota keselamatan dan sukarelawan-sukarelawan yang berkorban masa dan tenaga untuk merawat dan menjaga pesakit-pesakit ini dengan tabah dan sabar. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. وهو السميع العليم حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل ونعم المولى ونعم النصير بسم الله توكلنا على الله ولا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والحمد لله رب العالمين تكبر الله منكم Kembali kepada moderator yang bertugas. Terima kasih. 
Amin amin ya rabbal alamin. Tanpa melengah masa, uh, saya serahkan kepada Cikgu Ain. Ain boleh share screen dah. Okey. Okay, Assalamualaikum. Thank you very much uh, for the introduction. And thank you Digital Classroom for the opportunity to be on live with you this morning. Uh, my name is Miss Ain or, or Miss Ain B. Yeah. Miss Ain B is a, a nickname, but you can call me Miss Ain. Okay, uh, thank you for joining me this morning. And I would like to take this chance to say um, Happy Eid Ramadan to everyone. Selamat menyambut bulan Ramadan. And then, okay, for today's lesson, it's actually meant for lower primary pupils. Eh, tak masuk lagi? Slideshow, uh, slideshow. Slide Dia punya PowerPoint tu slideshow. Dah ke? Tak. PowerPoint tu jadikan slide show. Dia lagi ni. Dah slide show ni. Tak. Ah, sebab tadi tak pilih ni kot. Dah uh, tak pilih desktop. Jadi pilih apps. Okey, jap. Ah. Okay ke? Okay. Okay, sorry everyone. Um, so today's lesson is on days and month. Okay, it's actually meant for lower primary pupils. Year 1, 2 and 3. Um, and then, if you see the topic is days and month. Okay, for days, it's specifically for year two in the topic free time. And for month, it's for year three uh, on the topic year in, year out. Right? Okay. So before we start, can I ask you two things? Number one, can you grab a book or a notebook? for you to jot down whatever information I would like to share with you this morning. And another one is for you to use the chat session, the live chat session wisely, and so that I can see the questions and you can answer my questions later. Okay? Okay, let's move on. Okay, let's start with the first um, slide here. I just want to share these words, wise words from Confucius. I. In here. Okay. So, I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. I do and I understand. So, what it means that in English lesson, how do you want to get better in using the language itself is for you to uh, do. What? Uh, this is the keyword here. Do. So it means that you have to do some uh, exercises. You have to use the language. Okay. If you only hear or listen to teacher, you might forget it. And you, if you only see or watch... TV or cartoons, can you might remember something, but you won't understand it. Okay, so today's lesson, we're going to start off with uh, say it right. Say it right is where we going to 
we're going to uh, pronounce the words correctly for days and months because some of my pupils they pronounce the words wrongly okay and then we're going to sing songs I'm going to introduce preposition of time on and in when should we use on when should we use in and then we're going to go on sentence examples of on and in lastly do it yourself uh, some activities for you to do okay now let's start off with say it right okay how do you pronounce this word everyone let's pronounce this together some of my pupils say this word as monday uh, it's not monday eh? it's monday uh, the the word man in front it's rhyme with monkey money right so everyone say it with me monday monday okay next this word tuesday not tuesday 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 okay tuesday Okay, the third word here is very uh, commonly mis mispronounced by all of you. You always say it as Wednesday, right? Uh, the correct way of saying this word is, there's only two syllables. Wednesday. So everyone repeat after me. Wednesday. Okay, you got it all? Look at the next one. Uh, sometimes people confuse this word with the word Tuesday just now. Selasa dengan Kamis kan? People get it confused. So this word, Thursday. Thursday. The word R is not so loud, okay? Thursday. All right. Next one is? This one is very easy. Friday. Friday. Next one. Saturday. The third in the middle there uh, is not very uh, stress. Eh? Saturday. Okay. And last one. This is very easy. Uh, Sunday. Okay. Sunday. So, everyone got it correct? Let's repeat one more time. Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday, Saturday, Saturday. And last one, Sunday. All right? Okay, good. So now, let's sing a song for you to better remember the days of the week. Okay. Can you hear it? Tengok ke? Tadi share tadi ni eh? Boleh dengar?
tekan yang tadi. Ada uh, check. Tak ada juga eh. Oh, ni ha. <laughs> okay. Ya? Yeah? Jadi share tadi ni eh? Okay, who can tell me what is oh, the um the tune just now that we sing? Yeah. Can you share the dinner? Macam ada lagu ni. Tak ada, Lambat sikit eh. Boleh sambung? Haa, uh, okey. So, just now. Huh? Just now we already sing the song, Days of the Week. Uh, so that you can remember more uh, the days of the week. Ikut sequence dia. Okey. Now let's do the months. Say it right for months. Okay. The first one is January. Bukan January. It's January. Okay. Next, February. February, March, R2 silent eh, macam March, macam tu, March, ch. ada bunyi ch kat belakang, so March, next, April, it's not 
April or April. It's April. Okay, next. May. May. June. July. August. Uh, it's not August, eh? it's August. Or oh, open your mouth. August. Next. September. September. Next. October. October. To, uh, T O in the middle tu bukan to eh atau to dia lembut very soft October okay next November no dekat depan tu pun bukan no no the no November and last one December Oh, sorry. It's not December. Eh? C in the middle too. Sounds. S. So, December. December. So, you have to say it right. Okay. Okay. Never mind. We just move on to preposition of time. I'm going to teach you two prepositions of time. On, for days, and in, for months. Okay, days, for example, just now we already sing the song. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. You use on. Preposition in Bahasa Melayu is kata sendi. Hmm? So remember, for days, you cannot use in, you cannot use at. Ha, macam at Monday or in Monday, no. You have to use on. Okay, is that clear? And then for e uh, month, you use in. For example, in January, in March, in July. Okay, so for this one, I have a chant for you. It's very easy. The chant is on four days in four months. On four days in four months. For you to remember later when you want to write uh, in your exercises, your writing. Uh, this is very important. Okay? One more time. On four days in four months. All right. Let's look at the chart now. On is four days. Okay, let's read this together. On Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday, on Saturday, on Sunday. All right. So after this, if you want to say pada hari Isnin, uh, you use on Monday. All right. Don't use other preposition. Okay. Next, for in, let's read together. It's for months. Eh? For example, in January, in February, in March, in April, in May, in June, in July. In August, in September, in October, in November, in December. Okay, 
So you're clear on that, right? This is very important. So it doesn't matter you're in year one, year two, or even in year six. This will be used in your grammar part. Okay, let's move on. Now I have a sentence structure. There's question and answer sentence structure. For example, for question, if you want to ask, eh, dalam bahasa Melayu nak tanya, kamu buat apa hari Isnin? So, the question would be, what do you do on Monday? Uh, look at the word on there. You use on. What do you do on Monday? Okay, this is the question. So, how to answer? There are two ways for you to answer. The first one. On Monday, I... Uh, what activity do you do? So, it's either you say on Monday first. Or you put on Monday at the back. Okay, for example, you go shopping on Monday. You want to tell your friend. So, your friend asks you, what do you do on Monday? So, you will answer, on Monday, I go shopping. Alright? See here, don't forget to put a comma. Okay, but for the second option here, I go shopping on Monday. There's no comma here, comma there. So you can choose either this one or this one to answer the question. Okay? All right, let's see. What's wrong with these sentences? So there's an error in each sentence here. Okay, let's look at number one first. In Monday, I play tennis. What is the mistake or the error there? Who can tell me? Okay, so the error is here. In. In Monday, I play tennis. I told you on four days, in four months. So, it's supposed to be on. Alright? For the second question, uh, second sentence. I go fishing in Friday. What is the mistake over there? Yes, in. You're supposed to write on. So, as I said earlier, it doesn't matter you sit in the beginning or at the end of the sentence. Both are correct, only the preposition is wrong. Okay? Okay, what about this third one? On Friday, I collect seashells. Huh, everything is correct, but there's one small mistake over there. Who can tell me? Yes. Comma. Hilang comma. Don't forget to put comma after this word. On Friday, comma. Okay? And the last one. I sing a song on Tuesday. Huh. One small mistake as well. Who can tell me? Yes, the, the letter T here. So, for days and months, you should write capital letter. T besar, eh? For hari and bulan. Uh, sometimes you overlook this. You, you spell correctly. Only that the capital letter you forget. Uh, okay, so after this, please make sure you do it correctly. 
Okay, next. Let's see. Eh? What do you do on Monday? Look at the picture there. Who can answer the question? What do you do on Monday? Look at the boy. Oh, this is referred to Ayla because you're asking, what do you do on Monday? So imagine this is you. What are you doing? Oh, what do you do? Okay, let's see the answer. There's two options, as I said earlier. The first one, on Monday, I watch TV. Okay, the second one, I watch TV on Monday. All right. Okay, let's look at the second one. Okay, Wednesday. What do you do on Wednesday? Oh, look at the picture there. Make a sentence. The boy or I, what is, what am I doing there? Kick ball, right? So the first one, on Wednesday, I play football. Or, I play football on Wednesday. Okay. Okay, what day? It's Sunday. So the question is, what do you do? Sorry, what do you do on Sunday? Uh, look, look at the picture. What do you do on Sunday? On Sunday, I go swimming. Okay, some of you answered, I watching TV, I playing football. Uh, it's actually incorrect because if you want to use ing, you have to add be verb in, the, uh, in front of the words. For example, on Sunday, I am watching TV. Or, oh uh, yeah. But this is present tense, eh? not continuous tense. So you use present tense verb. No ing. Okay. Let's continue. I go swimming on Sunday. It's not I swimming on Sunday. It's I go swimming on Sunday. All right, last one, Thursday. What do you do on Thursday? Look at the picture. The answer is, on Thursday, I read a book. Or, I read a book on Thursday. Okay? Uh, so, these are some of the activities for a week. Okay, so you can try to write on the comment any days you choose and write a sentence. You can choose Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but use the pronoun I 
how should you write a full sentence for this? Okay, try first. Okay. I'm going to check a few before we proceed. Look at the days and the activities. It must match. Eh? I go shopping on Monday. Very good. And then for Tuesday. On Tuesday, I vacuum. It's a complete sentence already. I read a book. Oh, there's, no, there's the other one. Okay, for Wednesday. I go for a walk on Wednesday. Okay, Pate. I play tennis on Saturday. Yes. Most of you got it correct. But don't forget the days must use capital letter. Okay. And don't forget comma. If you write on Monday ke, Tuesday ke. Okay, very good. All right. Let's move on. Uh, never mind. I just go straight to months now. Okay. So for months, you use in. When is something something? For example, when is your birthday? So, whatever you write here, you rewrite for the answer. For example, my birthday is in July. Huh. So, see. In. Not on for months, eh? remember? On for days, in for months. Okay. So, familiarize yourself with this structure. And we're going to check one by one. Uh, we look at the sentence. Okay? Okay, for the first question, when is your birthday? Okay, bila hari jadi awak? Okay, for example, your birthday is in July. How should you answer it? Macam mana nak jawab ni? When is your birthday? So the answer is My birthday is in July. Ha, nanti ada orang tanya Teacher kenapa sini your kat bawah my? Ha, sebab ini when is your birthday? Somebody asks you. Ada orang tanya kamu. Bila birthday kamu? Atau bila birthday awak? So your answer, jawapan kamu sendiri. You have to answer, my birthday. My birthday is in July. Okay, clear? Next. When is the final exam? Bila peperiksaan akhir tahun? Ha, macam tu. So, let's look at the picture. Okay, exam November. Ha, how to answer this? Okay, so the answer is ambil balik Ambil balik daripada sini. The final exam is in bila? November. So, tengok eh? Any capital letter. And then 
uh, November is month, right? So you have to use in. Okay, clear? Next. When is the carnival? Bila carnival itu? So, look at carnival. It's in May. How to answer? Full sentence. So, the answer is the carnival is in May. Uh, so, one more time, let me show you. May is a month. You have to use preposition in, not on. Easy, right? Okay, I see here somebody answered. My birthday is in 18, 18 July 2008. Uh, if it's a date, it, date you have to use on. Uh, kalau ada tarikh kan, bukan bulan sahaja. You use on. For example, the carnival is on 10th May. Uh, specific. Kena guna on. If bulan sahaja, May, June, July, you said in. Clear tak? Faham tak? Kadang-kadang uh, confusing. But you have to remember, kalau month, only month, you use in. Uh, month, year. Tapi hari ni kita tengok month only lah. But uh, I just want to note here for a date, eh, tarikh specific, eh, 10th May ke, 19 October ke, you use on. Ha, jangan confuse. Okay, last one. When is Malaysia Day? Ha, bila Malaysia Day? Hari Malaysia. Si semua tahu kan hari Malaysia September. So how to answer this? Malaysia Day is in September. Okay, tapi kalau dia nak cakap Malaysia Day dia nak bagi specific date, 16 September. Guna on ke guna in? Ha. Yes, kalau Date, specific date, you use on. Just that today, I'm focusing on day and month only. Not date, tarikh kita tengok uh, other time lah. Okay, tak clear tak? Faham eh? Alright, very good. Okay, now um, let's do quiz 2 lah. Boleh tak buat quiz tu? Um, ni. Macam mana nak klik ni? Cikgu Bella boleh ke uh, buat word wall ni? Okay. Kalau tak boleh buat sendiri. Kita buat sama-sama lah. Ha, this one. Okay, let's look on the on the ni eh, kita nak finalize. Tengok balik. Look together. Which one should you put 
uh, in the boxes. Okay, let's do it together. October. Is it on October or in October? Okay, so we're going to grab October E, day ke month. The month can. So we put here. All right. Friday is a day you put on. All right. Monday. What about Monday? You tell me. Monday is a day. It's on. Delta. Okay, what about Sunday? Sunday ni hari ke bulan ya? Eh? Hari right, day. So you put on. Okay, March. March. March is... Bulan. So you write, uh, you put there in September. Mana? In. Okay. Saturday. Saturday. On Saturday. Kita okay, December. December is a month in December. Correct? January. January is month in January. Wednesday. Wednesday is a day on Wednesday. Okay. Tuesday. Tuesday is a day put on. On Tuesday. And last one. July. In July. Ah. Okay, submit answer. Ah. All correct. Yay. Okay, one more before we finish off. Okay. Tengok dulu. Kalau boleh, kita try lagi sekali.
game uh, ni jumble word tak boleh lah line slow lah So I think that is all for today. No, what did we learn this day? Today, sorry. What did we learn today? Okay, so we already learned say it right. Okay? The know how to pronounce all the words correctly. Uh, so no more. I don't want to hear say Wednesday. Uh, apa lagi yang selalu salah? Monday. So you have to say it right. Okay. And then we already sing a song. A days of the week. And then we also have already learned preposition of time. When should we use on? When should we use in? So the chant just now, I taught you. I taught you, um, what was it just now? On for days, in for months. But you have to remember for dates, tarikh, eh? tarikh is you use on. And then we also learn sentence examples. And also do it yourself. You already uh, type out all the uh, sentences. And I've already checked. Most, most of you uh, got it correct. So, huh. any question? Is everything clear? I think that's all. Um, okay. Dah. for today and I hope your wood wall can be used after this. Ayn, is it can be used again? Uh, yes, yes. Ah, okay, so um, thanks for today uh, and maybe we can see you uh, some other time after this. Alright, thank you very much. Okay, thank you Ayn. Thanks to all bye -bye. students. Bye-bye.
kat sini adalah uh, Bukan sekitaran hmm. software Tak boleh tutup dah kan? Saya nak tunjukkan cara kerja kita Sejak belum uh, Melukis Menggunakan medium digital Okay Alright So, klik sudut pen ni Dekat sini dia ada uh, pilihan, pilihan pen Okay, saya ada pen Kita ada masa Kita ada pencil So, memang kita boleh Kita boleh lukis Sebijik 